Hey guys, Birdie here, and welcome to more Pokemon Ethereal Gates. I healed up at the Poke Center, and I am now ready to tackle whatever Route 2 has to offer. So let's get right into this battle. Hey, you and I made eye contact, which means we have to battle. Sure thing, bro. Whatever you say. Youngster Joshua. Sands out bamboos. That's perfectly fine with me, because I have that ember now. Because I am luckily level 6, so I can just freely one hit. Is this one a one hit KO? It might as no. Okay, never mind. But I do get the burn. Oh, that's nice. And your growl doesn't do crap to me, honey. So I can just pretty much ember for day ember for days, man. Oh, I am glad I trained this thing to level 6. I mean it took two battles, but <laughs> It's, it's very nice to have that amber on me. Um, this is kind of confusing. I'm just going to go down here and battle this. Oh, buck catcher. Well, that's going to be no challenge for me. I caught some of these Pokemon up in the forest up ahead. All right. Whatever you say, bro. You're challenged by buck catcher Sammy. And he's got a bird buff, which is this... I assume it's like the Caterpie of, of um, this continent. And it's going to die, you know. I... I I think one ember- yeah. One ember is enough to take that thing out. No, biggie. And we get level 7 from that, that's pretty nice. Now there's Polby, the bee Pokemon. Um, level 5, but I'm still- I can just sweep everything with my ember, really. Oh, two hits actually, but you know. Still fine, still fine. Nothing can really touch me at this point, I think. But I will definitely catch more Pokemon for this team um, on this, maybe even on this route, I'm not sure. But we are going to kill the Virgo with an Ember, and that's a, that's, that's a dead-ass Virgo, right? Oh, he's got another one. God damn. You have a lot of, lot of bugs over there, Buck Catcher Sammy. Which makes perfect sense. I don't know why I'm surprised, but... <laughs> And another level, alright. And we learn focus energy, which is entirely useless, but alright. You should have no travel in that for you should have no trouble in that forest after this battle. Sweet, 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 alright. So let's see, do we get you what? Yes, we might as well. What do we have here? An avage. Good, good. I actually really want this thing. Um, for a very specific purpose that you guys don't know about yet, but um, when I get there when I get there you'll see you'll see why. I really need to catch this thing. Well, I don't need to, but I really want to. And we have Pokeballs, so I'm just gonna throw one at it right now. And this sh should do the trick, right? Come on, come on, get in my balls. Get in my balls. That's right. First try, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. And this is actually a male avenge, so what are we going to nickname it? Hmm. I'm going to nickname it Taylo, just 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 to just to screw with, screw with people basically, really. Um because why not? Why not? Is there an item? That that's a suspicious looking spot right here. Got come on. What's what's it oh ear. Yet, yeah, see, this is this would be one of my few complaints about this game is that the Pokemon names sometimes not exactly the most just they, they don't really work is is what I'm saying. Basically, I mean I mean this thing is an ear. I, I don't even know how it's supposed to be pronounced, honestly, but it's just um, personally I like to call it Eeyore, just because when you say it really slowly, like. Ear. It kind of even sounds a little bit like Eeyore, and it's it's like 100. Damn it! It's like 100% uh, more pronounceable, um, which is why. I, so yeah, this this is an Eeyore to me, because yeah, some of these names, like I understand where they're coming from with most of them. I understand that of course it's it's a pun on something, but uh, some of them just don't don't really work for me. Come on, get get in the ball now. Oh shoot! You're how rude can you get, Eeyore? Female Eeyore, whatever. <laughs> um, do I just 
Is there anything I can do to this? No, there's nothing I can really do that would really kill it. And I kinda want it, so... Um... I'm just going to... I better not run out of balls right now. That would that would suck down. One, two, three. And there you go! Eeyer was caught! Alright. Good, 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 good. Eeyer's data was added to the Pokedex. It is blind at birth and stays that way for its entire life. As a result, as a result, they have a very acute sense of hearing, which allows it to move about regularly. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Um, what do we nickname this thing? I love to nickname all my Pokémon, and I'm going to nickname this one. Yeah, why not? You know, why not? I'm just going to nickname it Eeyore because that's that's what it is to me. It's Eeyore. <laughs> and we get the experience points. Nice, nice, nice. And is there an item here? There is! Oh, that's that's what I'm talking about. I see those suspicious looking spots right there. I see them. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna go to the Poké Center to heal up real quick, and I'm gonna meet you right back here. Alright guys, we're back, and Taylo the Avenge is now in the front of my team, ready to just destroy something with its level 4. <laughs> but, you know, oh, and there's another one. You know what? I always like... I really like matches when um, two Pokémon of the same species fight, and I can prove that mine is the superior Pokémon. I... Rude. I was just about to demonstrate that my Avenge is totally better than this guy. Well, that's just... That was just unnecessary, man. That was just really rude. I'm personally offended right now. <laughs> Usually, I really like to prove that my Pokémon is the superior Pokémon. But, um... I guess in this specific case, it, it might it might not be the case. Oh man, I'm sorry, Taylor. You you, you kind of kind of screwed. Oh no, he's fat. Oh, we had a speed tie. Oh, I thought I was faster. God damn. Do, the, the question is, do I have a speed tie with my Taylor too? Come on, come on, man. It's a wild avenge. I should be able to take this thing out. Oh, you cannot. Two crits. Two crits on my... Wow. Well, clearly this Avenge is superior to everything that I have on my team. But now I have to kill it. I have to murder it. I have to revenge kill this thing because th this is personal now. This is now a personal matter between me and this Avenge. And that's what you deserve. For oh my god, I was just at the Poké Center too. Well, I'm just gonna run back real quick. Okay. You know what, after that really unfortunate encounter with that Avenge, I'm actually just gonna take the upper path here. Because um, I know there is at least... I think there should be a trainer up here somewhere... Is it this lady? No, oh, she's not. Probably figured this out by now, but wild Pokémon also appear in the flowers. Which is a very nice touch, by the way. I really like that there's so many flowers and that, you know, wild Pokémon can appear in them. And it's a Palby. Do I want to catch this thing? Hmm. I'm considering. I've already caught two Pokemon on my team, but honestly, I've already trained an Eeyore in my um, other playthrough, and I found that it's it's very fast, but it's it didn't actually help me that much, so I might catch a Colby. And oh wait, but I only have one. Oh, I only have one ball left. Oh, this better work. Please work. Please be a bro. Be a bro, Colby. Oh man! Well, I guess the Polby's decided. We are not catching one. Definitely not anytime soon. I should have bought more. I should have bought more um, Pokeballs, but I totally forgot that. I wasted all of that on that Eeyore. Well, never mind. I, I will just train the Eeyore, honestly. Um, or we might find something in the forest. Something that's really cool. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> okay, well, there doesn't seem to be any. Mm. Bamboos. I would also catch you, but unfortunately I literally can't right now, so I'm just going to tackle you to death. If that it can possibly happen. No, it most certainly cannot happen. Okay. Um, switch into Eeyore and see if I can lift this. It's not very defensive from what I remember. So I might not be able to. Mm, that kills me in two more hits. But I'm faster, and I should be able to... Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. 
Thanks for not getting getting a critical hit like that um, Avenge. That, you're a bro, man. You're a bro. And Taylor is now level 5. But I'm wasting a lot of health w um, battling these wild Pokémon, so... Um, you know what? I'm actually just gonna run back yet again. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry about all this back and forth, but uh, I actually went ahead and bought some Pokéballs, and I trained both Eeyore and um, Avinch up to level 6, so now we're at least, you know, ready to tackle more than one Pokémon at a time, is basically what I'm saying. And Eeyore learned Helping Hand in the process, but it's not really useful at all to my purposes, so we're just gonna run away and go down here to this conveniently placed Poke Pokeball. This is the one thing that kind of really annoys me about this game, is that uh, the wild encounter rate seems, at least to me, it seems to be ridiculously high. Like, I can go two steps without running into wild Pokemon, and, and it, it gets it gets really annoying at times. Um, I think it's higher than it is in the original games, but oh well. I'm super excited to battle with you. Cool, cool. Um, the feeling is totally mutual. Glass Hanna, we're gonna have a moment here with Glass Hanna. Hey. Go Eeyore. Alright. I think my... See, here is where I normally would want my Avenge to be um, up front to take her Avenge out of the way, but unfortunately I can't really afford to switch at this point, so I'm just gonna... Oh, you're one of those. You're one of those assholes, really. God, please don't. Just, just die with some dignity, okay? Thanks. Thank you. Beautiful. And is that gonna... Yes, it is. It's gonna get us to level 7. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, you really blew me away there, huh? That's right. You just... You, you don't see me coming, man. Um, HP up over here. Sweet, sweet. That's nice. And ow. And there's no way to speed up these wild encounters in any way, either. It's just... Ah, you're just stuck with it. I love picking flowers out here. I found this today. Here, have it! Birdie obtained- Oh, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to save the Ornberry for later. Because I'm going to need all the healing I can get. I've got two super strong Pokemon who will take you down. Well... Them, them spiting words, buddy. Them spiting words. I'm going to need all the HP I can get um, for the gym leaders. Because the gym leaders in this game are actually pretty damn tough. Um, they're definitely no, no fun, no, not, not an easy, easy opponent to beat by any means, both of them. Um, critical hit. That's nice. Uh, that's what I like to see, Your Good job. Putting in work. Um, I don't really care that it depends. It's probably, it's not even gonna live this, so that's, that's cool, that's cool. What else you got there, friend? Actually, I'm gonna switch out now. Well, no, he's got an Eeyore too, so now, now I have to stay in and prove that my Eeyore is superior. Which is not really going to be hard, considering this one's only level 5. Don't. Don't. Why you gotta do this to me? But, yeah, I would've switched switched into Avenge, but no, no, no. That can't happen now that I know who your other Pokémon is. And it's dead. My Eeyore is the better Eeyore today. That's, that's what happened. It seems that your Pokémon outmatched mine. That's right. That is very much correct there, um, buddy. Okay, I'm actually gonna put um, Taylo in front now. Good, good, good. So you can get, get some of them levels. And here I see more suspiciously placed spots in the nothing here. Nothing here either. Ah, rude! You baited me there. Two cherry berries. Very good, very good. Those heal paralysis, as far as I know. That's sweet. What do we have here? Petcha berries. Nice, nice, nice. That's that's like an antidote, so that's very much going to help in this forest, because there is a whole bunch of poison stinging assholes in there, so But we're set. We we have a burb on our team. <laughs> a burb. Oh, I'm so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Avocet Forest. Okay, let's go for it. Um which which way do I that looks like a dead end there. I'm not sure I want to go there. I'm not gonna go there, because I actually know that the forest kind of like loops back or something. 
um, in that area. Basically, there's nothing for me to do, do there now, so I'm not going to go that way. But I am, however, going to fight this trainer. Welcome to the Absent Forest. I'm going to make you wish you never came here. Well, that's, that's kind of rude. You say welcome, and then you say I'm going to kick your ass. Well, that, that, if I catch a Charlotte here, you're, you're kind of... I'm not sure I like you. I'm, I'm really not sure I appreciate the tone um, that you're taking with me, young lady. And you know what? Oh, I don't have any flying... Ooh, I don't have any flying moves yet. I'm hoping that Taylor will learn um, Gust or something at the next level, maybe, please. That would make my life infinitely easier. And as Ouch. As long as these guys don't poison me, I should be okay, right? Do, 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 do. That's right, please get Gust, please. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Ohakun. I, I think it's pronounced Ohakun because, um, I mean, Oka means leave in Spanish, right? So, that's like the metapod of this world. It's probably just gonna harden or something, and I'm going to destroy it, not even give it the chance. That's right. Good job, Taylor. Good job. And we have defeated the bug catcher. Now I wish I never came here. That's right. That's I I, I have that effect on people in general. Um Okay, let's let's just proceed this way. I don't think there's any other way we could go. I see a buck catcher down there, so I'm going Ah! Come on! Oh look at it! Oh it's so cute! Oh now I want to catch this thing. Oh setting. Oh it's so adorable. Um I'm sorry, I, some of these designs are just so cute, I, I can't help it. Oh, oh, that almost killed him, but not quite, and I now have Pokeballs, so please, please get in my- Oh, actually, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna use the Premier Ball, why not? Why not? Huh? Huh? And we got it! We got the setting first try, that's right. It's level 5 too, which is not too shabby. Inside its transparent poison sac is a fairly harmless chemical mixture. However, predators believe it to be deadly, so Sedic are normally left alone. Cool stuff, bro. That's that's a cool thing you've got there. What shall we nickname this thing? We're going to nickname her... You know what? We're going to nickname her Charlotte. Just because that buck catcher over there was called Charlotte, and I, I think it's just an adorable name. Just why wouldn't you want to have a Sedic named Charlotte? Like, let's, let's be real here, okay? And... I've ensnared you in my net. Well, I'm going to gust and burn my way right out of it, my friend. And he has his own setting. Well, unfortunately, I can't even bring in mine now because it's at way low health, but I am going to take it out with a gust, I think. I think that should be enough. And it is. Good job, good job, good job. Alright. Buckcatcher Matthew is about to send in Morgana. Um, I'm gonna switch... Actually, no, no, I'm not gonna switch, because that's the... That's the evolved um, form of Sedic, and I don't really want Eeyore to screw with that just yet. So, oh my god, that, that thing is defensive. Please don't poison me. Don't make my life difficult right now. Ah, it was like, like negative 1 HP. Don't... Do oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die to... Okay, fine. I, it's fine. It's I'm totally calm. This oh, I could I could risk it and bring in Charlotte right now. I'm not gonna be faster. Let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. You know, it's, what's the worst that can happen? I still have two other Pokemon. Um, bug bites this thing. It doesn't matter what I do. It's still going to die. And I am faster. Good job. Setting for the kill. Oh, that was a weird sound. Wow. And level 6. Good job, good job, good job. Mm, we have zero defense, that's not good. Or not zero, but um, low low defense. But that's fine, that's fine. We, we lost, um, we lost Taylor there, unfortunately. But it's fine, we still have Eeyore. And should I heal? I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm not even going to bother right now. Um, just don't give me any wild Pokemon, please. Ah, ah.
Okay, what do we have here? It's an antidote. Good, good, definitely useful for this forest, although I do believe we are just about to get out. That's what I mean, I can't walk through a single patch of grass. without getting a wild encounter, so... Uh, it's without repel. I mean, I do have one repel, but I don't want to waste it just now, because it's it's gonna get worse, my friends. And here we go to these guys. You should have been more careful about where the boss said to look. This obviously is not the right place. I don't see any ethereal gates anywhere. I don't see any kinds of gates here. Well, the boss said to look in the Abbasid forest. How the heck was I supposed to know there were two different parts to it? I mean, yeah. Uh, hey, you. You didn't see us here. Um, I did. I... You didn't see anything. I'm looking at you literally right now. Oh. Oh, is that how we're gonna... Okay. Hooded strangers. Is is that how we're going to... Oh, shoot. He's got an awful beat. Um, this thing is kind of an offensive... Beast, I'm not sure I can take anything. And I can't really do anything to it either. You know what? No, I'm gonna. I'm switching out. I'm sw mm, that might be a bad idea. That might be a bad idea. I can't. I can't. I don't want to take a hit with anything. From, let's let's just see if I can live this. I'm probably gonna do like no damage to it. Oh. And I cannot live it, so that's that's very unfortunate. But hopefully, hopefully Simba can do this. I still have um, at least one potion, I believe. So worst case scenario, I'm just gonna potion. But I really, I'm one of those people who really don't like wasting potions. Shite. Oh man. Oh, did you have to? Oh, was that necessary? I'm one of those people who just I, I save everything. I'm always convinced that I don't really need the thing, and then I die. Ah, whew. But, wh what just happened? Yeah, that's what I want to know. You got a freaking crit there. That was... Let me try. Uh, I'm not really ready right now, actually. Could you... Could you not, maybe? You're challenged by a stranger. He's got a bat, Which is actually kinda cute. <laughs> So, alright, but I definitely have to heal right now. Immediate. Please tell me I have a potion. Please go- Okay, I have a potion. Oh, goodness. I should have healed. I should have healed. I regret my life choices right now. But, okay, it's it's only gonna leech life. That's perfectly fine with me. Um, I'm going to ember yo ass. Damn it. If I could get a nice burn here, some, some hacks going on, that would be nice. But I, it looks like I can take it out with one more ember anyway, so that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. And I do take it out. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job, Simba, putting in that work. Attack plus three, that's what I'm talking about. Trying to learn play nice. What is what is that? Delete and move to make room. Okay, let's let's check what it is, because I don't actually know. Might be a new move? I'm not sure. Uh, user and the target become friends and the target loses will to fight. Lowers the attack stat. Well, um, I think I'm just gonna keep Tail Whip, honestly, and I'm probably ne never gonna use <laughs> use Tail Whip either. Um, yeah, no, I don't really care. Defeated- But you're just a kid! Well, you know, uh, I have many skills, is all I can say. Who are you? Look, there's obviously nothing here of relevance. Let's get to the other part of the Abyssid Forest. But- mm -mm. But we have to go through a bunch of towns to get there. It's so far away, man. Well, then you should stop yapping and start moving. I mean, he has a point. Like, you, you're you obviously gonna have to go there. And there's another trainer here, but do I really want to... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be cheeky and battle this one more trainer. Leaving the forest, not without battling me or not. And I just remembered that there was a path up there that I could have taken. I'm gonna go there later. Bugcatcher Eden sends out Birdbug. Fine with me. I'm going to ember everything on your on your team. Oof, I'm really I'm really glad I picked Kid Orge as my starter now, because this forest would have been kind of annoying without him. 
but I know I can just rely on Kidorch to basically take out anything that could be a threat here. So these these trainers, though, they have pretty high levels. Like in in a normal Pokemon game, I think you know places like Viridian Forest and stuff, you don't get level eights, and definitely not uh, with a trainer that has four Pokemon, because the general rule of thumb is that the you know the more Pokemon a trainer has, the lower level they are. But these guys, these guys are really tough. Look at that, another, this one is level 7, but... Jeez, man, this, these guys are, they're, they're pretty challenging, not, not gonna lie, pretty challenging. If I didn't have Kid Orch, I definitely would be in some trouble here. I won't survive? Oh, well, let's, let's see, you know. <laughs> okay, let's just check what's up here. More conveniently placed. Oh, there's a Pokeball, right? Nice, nice. Oh, come on, that's awesome. Great ball. Very good. Okay, useful items. Useful items is, you know, something that I definitely appreciate. Or something. I'm sorry. I can't English. Sometimes I just can't English. No item here either. Okay, well, I'm just gonna. If I see one more wild Pokemon here, I swear to Jesus. Just let me out, man. I just want out. Oh, thank God. Okay, here's the exit. Whew. Where are we now? We are... We have arrived, guys, in Longspur City. A bustling, old-timey city. And you know what, guys? I'm gonna end the episode here. I've been recording for about half an hour now, so definitely long enough. And you know what? I, I definitely hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'm gonna see you next time to see what we can find in Longspur City. Cheers!